up guys it's Kerry from KJB back again with another episode of the Wigan Athletic Career Mode I do hope that I find you very well indeed now I know I've missed another week of uploading but I will finish season number three today we are going to play through the rest of these games as you can see we've got eight games left of the season we are sat on 34 points. I am going to play today until we've got a result. Are we going down? Are we staying up? I think as things stand, we should be pretty secure in this season. But we're going to play. We'll probably play play a few, sim a few. But this is it for the end of the first season in the Premier League today. First up on the agenda then today, Leeds United. Here we go then, Leeds United this time i believe we are playing at ellen road as well or i don't know we might be playing at ellen road we might not be i know it's in the game now let's hope we are but anyway leeds united let's kick off this end of season special hopefully with a win against our series rival squeal with a lovely ball out but i think that's no he's not he's kept nope it. i say he kept it in he's just played that out himself Right, Okariji, play it over, Callum Lang, he took a touch, why is he took a touch there? Queer, Callum Lang, he has still got it. Recycling the ball, Busquets, play it to Jones, Lang, Jones, beautiful, got to finish, he does. That is some sensational football and we're 1-0 up against the series rival. Lang, Jones, play it to Callum Lang, I think he's off. He is, he did put us 2-0 up, but he's offside. Doesn't count. Oh, he's been turned way too easily. And that's a penalty, is it? Really? Well, I mean it is, but that's nowhere near intentional. Got left. No, Rafinha has equalised one all. Oh, they're playing it nicely again. Good block. Keep on him. Okariji's missed it. What a block by Rodon. How is that snuck in? We're 2 1 down just like that. Do we? We don't have many free kick takers, and Takuya is probably the best one. So, I mean, we didn't ask him to do that. We took too long taking that. But it's working. Callum Lang, it's worked anyway. It does not matter. Callum Lang with the equalizer. Now, can we break? This is where I need my man, Dembele. He's got the beat in a Kieran Gibbs easily. I see Teguia arriving. Ball over. He skied it. That is a poor, poor header by Teguia. Ooh, that dipped. Right, I know he scored, but Callum Lang can come off. Nakete can come on. And Evans can come in for Garda. Evans, first thing he's done, plays Dembele in, and he's through on goal. Finesse near post. 3 2. We always have a good game against Leeds. Oh, and it's as simple as that for him. 3 all. Poor defending. There was a slight tackle that went a bit rogue, but great finish by the man. Dembele broke the line again. Oh, he's just. The reaction on him was not great. Smith's got great. That's the third time that's happened this game. Our players are just ruining it out for the sake of it. Good tackle for Godfrey. Jones just couldn't decide what side to move. Oh no. And he's cost us a game. His indecision there has cost us a game that. We should not have lost that. Curtis Jones, if he just went one way or the other, we'd have got at least a point. Him not making a move has stopped us from going on an attack. Our next game then is against Southampton. And we've dropped Curtis Jones. I feel like he's he's got his moments, but I want to try Niketia and Lang together. I was going to match go 4-4-2 against them, but I feel like that's going to make this game really boring. So Niketia just dropping behind Callum Lang. Hopefully that extra bit of firepower will see us through this one. We're back at home in this one. I don't think I'd have shown you the league table between these matches, but although we're sitting fairly comfortable, there's still a slight chance we can be dragged into this. So 
I feel two more wins and we should be all right. All right. Seven games left. We can do it, but you've also seen us go on some terrible runs this season. So we've got to try and pick up some points somewhere. Hoping today against Southampton, a team we tend to do fairly well against as well. Hopefully this is where we can do that. Smith. To... Why was that ball played all the way over? Now Busquets is chasing back Che Adams. This is not a very good foot race. And he scored. Simple as that. This time he's not, but he's not away. Teguia's got some space. A cross goal. Flashes it wide. Sloppy across the back. Good tackle by... No way is that a foul. Good save by Steve Mandanda. Nice. Niketia is the other side. Callum Lang is ahead. Callum Lang sneaks it underneath Gaeta. One all. Niketia, great ball to Teguia. Just a cross. Dangerous. Callum Lang jumped and I weren't even in control of him. I'm going to give Curtis Jones that chance to redeem himself. He's coming on from Niketia. Gala on for Evans. We want at least a point in this one, but we will push for three. Lang, Pierce, to Guia. Back to Pierce. Good stuff. Cross, Callum Lang. That is some very, very good football. And we're ahead again against Southampton. They've hit the post from a free kick. Again, they didn't really deserve. Just need to defend this. Ooh, get it out. That'll do. That is perfect, to be honest. Look how far that's gone. And the keeper's not even coming for it. I've made a mistake here. To Guia straight away. It's not. It. Oh, hang on, there's confusion. Go on, surely, ref. There we go. That is a big three points going a long way to securing our spot in the Premier League next season. We are back then against Crystal Palace. We're on 37 points now. I'm thinking one more win out of all these games we've got left, and that is us securing the Premier League next season. We're going to just keep going until we get that win, then we'll advance to the end of the season, see how well we get on in the end. You can see we've made a couple of changes, we're just going to get straight in. Come on then, we've got to surely be beating the likes of Palace. I know I say this most games, but surely Palace are a team that we should just be walking over. Nice tackle. What's that a foul for? Evans has done something off the ball though, and if Rakitic scores, it's not going to be a happy moment. Good save by Mandanda. Evans with the ball in. Jimmy Dunn. We say that all the time. Callum Lang. Go on. Oh, what a goal! We, I was just saying, we say it all the time that Evans never finds Jimmy Dunn on these near post corners, but. That ball in was good. What a header by Callum Lang. It's a weird chest pass by Dembele, but lovely backwards header over the keeper. Brilliant stuff. That was just poor defending all around. I had a feeling they'd score from that just by not being able to get near the ball. And tackle. No, 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 no. I am not having that. He's won the ball. Okay, maybe he's not won the ball, but that's just harsh. Oh, he's missed. He's hit the bar. Right, can we counter? Then we'll make some changes. Evans. Dembele's made a run forward. Cross. Curtis Jones isn't going to slide ahead. Right, Evans is coming off because he's having a bit of a shocker. Johnson's coming on at centre-back for him, and we've brought Jones a bit further back. It means Lang's going to be on his own up top, but we've done it before with 10 men. There's no reason we can't do it again. Oh, that would have been great. Now they're the ones countering us. How was that bounce to him? What a tackle. Don't you dare give anything. Oh, we've got already. Go on, Teguia. Just a cross goal. Forces a save out of their keeper, at least. Teguia. 
We are again racing past. Curtis Jones. Easy finish. That's all come from a beautiful ball out by Busquets to the Greener. He beat his man, Curtis Jones, with the finish, and we're 2 1 up. Dembele. Lang's been played through. How is that not a foul then? A simple Mandanda with a huge block there. Well done. Smith, well done. Get up. Godfrey's doing well. Just up and out. That's it. The end of the game. And that surely should be our Premier League safety secured by now. We'll go check out the table anyway and see what's happening. As you can see, five games left then. We've got a 15 point gap ahead of Crystal Palace. That defeat for them has probably secured our place in the league. We'll sim forward a game or two, see if we get the news item saying that we're safe in the league and then go from there. Wow, so in the sim, it's a disappointing one all draw with Sheffield United. We've won 3-2. On the sim, we've beat Manchester City, so that's surely our place in the league next year sorted. Yeah, that's it for us with three games left. We're well clear of the relegation scrap now. That win against Man City, the draw against Sheffield United has definitely helped us out a hell of a lot there. So I'll see you to the end of the season and we'll go through some stats, see what where we can improve next season. And I'm always open to suggestions from the comments as to what to do for next season as well. I'm thinking we change it up. Formation change, personnel change a lot. There we go then, we're ending the season. A 2-1 loss against Newcastle, that's not great. But a 2-1 win against Villa the next week and a 1-0 draw against Wolves. We're a Premier League side next season again. Show you how we ended up. In the end, it looks quite convincing. We finished 10 from 48 points by some distance. Palace, Leeds and Villa, the three teams going down this season. We might have a look at some of their players, see if there's anyone to raid in there. I know Palace had a few decent players in their team. But let's see who's won the league. Liverpool. Liverpool win the Premier League. Callum Lang has finished second highest goal scorer on the charts. And he had nine less games than Raheem Sterling as well. 24 goals for our striker. That is brilliant. Nketi is on there on 15. Dembele is on there on 15. Anyone else? No? Then Curtis Jones is up there. Top assist in the league. 14 assists is brilliant. Evans has got 10. Dembele with 9. Taguia with 9. We're spreading the assists across that midfield very well. Clean cheese. I don't expect us to be that high. Mandanda got four. It's not great, but it is our first season in the Premier League. And our defence is easily our weakest position. Hopefully no one on the yellow card list. Nope. And on the red card list, Ben Godfrey's got two. And Jimmy Dunn's definitely got one. So we've had three red cards this season, so not too good. Anyway, this is the team this season. Let's go through it each section. So in terms of appearances, Dembele, Smith, Mandanda, Evans, Busquets and Jones have all made the most appearances in this team. Dembele is absolutely crucial to what we're doing. I'm keeping hold of him at all costs. Smith, a player I probably am going to look to replace at right back. Say with the goalkeeper. Midfield too, you can see, has stayed the same as well. So it's been a very, probably tricky season to navigate because we've had quite a thin squad. In terms of goals, Callum Lang tops that list by some distance across all competitions. Dembele's got 17, Niketia 15, Jones 9, Brobbery 5. You can tell we need to improve spreading goals out around the squad a little bit more. Assists, they're fairly well spread out. All the way down to Callum Lang's got five plus assists on there. So that is a very good to see indeed. And Joe Rodon, since he come in, six clean sheets. I don't think they're all with us, to be honest. I think some of them must be with Spurs. But let's look at these players. Busquets and Teguia, they've definitely been with us all season. They've had five clean sheets between them. We definitely need to get better defensively next season. So next season then. I think we need to change it up. I really do. I think probably a change in formation, a change in how we play. I'm thinking we're definitely going to need a goalkeeper because I don't think Steve is staying. 
Smith can probably get replaced with a better right back. We're going to need a better centre back. I'm after a CDM and probably a winger as well. So there's five positions there. Any help in the comments will always be greatly appreciated. All in all though, 10th place in the Premier League, 48 points. I think that is a very, very good season. Callum Lang's proved he can do it at the top level. We just need to try and get these, what's that, 13 points? We need to get that 13 point gap against West Ham down. I think next season, we finished 10th, brilliant. Probably aiming for a top half finish, so 9th and above. We'll see what kind of budget we get. We'll try and have a look at some free signings. We just want to try and improve the squad, get to a better standard, and just each season, like I said before in this series, go one step further. So it was bottom half this year. Now we're going to aim for top half. Then we're going to try and aim for the Europa League places and so on and so on. So that's what we're going to look forward to. Next video will be up next weekend. We'll do a transfer special and we'll get the Premier League season started. I'm going to try and make the episodes a little bit longer as well. So like this one, I'm going to try and get a lot more gameplay in. I'm probably going to sim quite a few games in the Premier League next season as well. Just to try and keep the pace of the series up. Because I can't get two videos out a week now. If I can try and get one longer video out a week, I'm calling that a success. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the season. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Comment with anyone you think I should be looking at signing you all of those positions I mentioned. Subscribe if you want to see more from us and I'll catch you for season number four. Bye!